Hello. It's that time. We interrupt this program to bring you an important news broadcast. Good afternoon. We interrupt you to bring you some breaking news from Prenton High School today, where it is the last day of term, which for Year 11 students marks the end of a significant era. Due to the global pandemic, Year 11 have faced a very different ending to the one they had foreseen, with GCSE examinations cancelled, their prom postponed, and many other activities that form part of their leavers experience unable to take place. Despite the disappointment and challenges that this situation has brought, it is also becoming clear that Year 11 students leave Prenton High School ready to take up the exciting challenge of the next stage of their education, guided by the school values of trust, respect, integrity, kindness and endeavour. This year has been evident of that. Before we find out what people had to say about saying goodbye, here is Miss Davis with the weather. Thanks Mrs Hepke and here's our year 11 2019-2020 weather update. It's September and we have those clouds of doubt truly setting in for year 11 about the year ahead of them. But they fade when realisation hits that they can do it despite being sick of hearing about revision already. As we move towards October those rainbows arrive as we celebrate your attendance at masterclasses, celebrations in sports and the efforts of the SSLT Macmillan Coffee Morning. Employers also got their shades out to protect them from those blindingly good mock interviews that you all did. And no, they weren't just a success because you perfected your eyebrows that very morning. November and get those brollies out. We see a wave of rain set in ready for the PPE exams that are approaching. Mrs. Hepke is regularly telling you to attend the revision hub at lunch. So you run with a baguette half in your mouth to go and catch up on Tassamai before Mr. Hignett finds out. And hold on, the water's gone off in the Wirral. You're free from school for a day. And which year 11 had caused that then? December, our temperatures drop again and PPEs are finally over and Christmas is in sight. You threw on your paper hats for the last time at the Christmas dinner whilst Miss, Mrs Hepke made sure to take a lot of photos of you with sprouts halfway in your mouth. For the last time too, you took part in your end of year celebrations, charged out of the sports hall to your freedom. Moving through to February, after rain and sunshine of January's PPE examination results, the storms are brewing as you face a million mass watch and task my task before being expected to also be a Bake Off contestant for Miss Davis's prom fundraising. It became too much work, so some of you have jetted off to warmer climates of Italy before the second round of PPE examinations. March and the rain comes again. School closes and if it wasn't the water that did it months ago, then virus did. Boris Johnson tells you that your exams are cancelled and you throw your anthology of poems out into the air, delete the Show My Homework app and get a grade nine in making TikTok videos. No one would have predicted such an earthquake to our plans, but you face the difficult time with incredible strength. Today, we mark the end of the school year and the sunshine is back. Year 11 are predicted to bring some rainwater to the eyes of their teachers who never got to properly say goodbye. Sunshine is forecast for August when we get to see you on results day and tell you face to face how the class of 2020 were the best year Princeton High School has ever seen. There is also predicted to be floods of tears, plenty of dancing and excitement when we're reunited for the last time at the prom. That's the year 11 weather update, what a year it has been for them. We've been talking to some of the staff about how they feel about this year's leavers. I, I so don't want to say goodbye. Obviously, every year we, we we don't want to say goodbye to you because, you know, we're your teachers and we care so much about you. So, how do I feel about saying goodbye? Not great. Not great at all. Lasting memory. Probably the the amount of weird field trips I've taken you on. Standing watching some of you stood on top of the Mount Vesuvius in jeans and denim jackets, freezing your heads off having just listened to me a few hours before saying wrap up warm it's cold funny moment <laughs> see what will be my parting words longshore drift take care take care don't be a stranger well i think you should take those next steps with confidence um you know, you, you deserve to do well. You all worked so incredibly hard and it was so disappointing that you weren't able to, to test 
all of that work that you've done. Um, I would say have confidence in your abilities. You were a fabulous group of girls. I loved watching you grow up from year seven um, all the way through to year 11, five years. It did seem like five long years, but I would like to wish you the very best for your future because I think you're a fabulous group. Well, there are certainly a few things that will stick with me. Um, certainly their independence in knowing their own minds. Um, I certainly got used to that over the few years that um, I was their form tutor. They are incredible young women and they um, have their own personalities and they are incredibly hardworking as well. I'm really going to miss obviously 11R1. They've um, given obviously lots of fun and we've had lots of uh, memorable moments within form time. I would like to say to them, you make your own look, so get out there, grab every opportunity with both hands. Uh, to my old form, who I took through their first two years of Prenton High School, I will never forget you. You've all grown so much since then and those first days at school, although some of you are just as loud, Kira. And for those of you that have gone through DV with me, I just have a little message for you. Never stop walking and pushing to hit your goals. Just like Jess, Saffron, Savannah, Bonnie, Faye and Lily Mae, who despite getting lost many, many times and moaning constantly, they still passed their silver DV. Remember, you all make a difference to each other to succeed. And for those that have had the pleasure or misfortune as having me as a history teacher, remember girls, to fight them in the workplace, to fight them in the colleges and the universities, to fight those doubters and the criticizers. You should never surrender. I feel like I've not had a full year with them, so I'm definitely going to miss them. Really sad because we didn't have a full proper goodbye and I'm going to miss them a lot. They're crazy. That's, that's what will stick with me about this year's year 11. Absolutely crazy. Lovely bunch of girls and I hope they do really, really well. I can't believe this day has come. Um, I'm already missing them all. Uh, seeing their faces, I'm really missing doing all that revision, looking at all these quotes, reading all these texts. So, we're missing them already. Oh, very strange, I'm gonna miss them. Um, yeah, very much, very much so. Be yourselves, I think, stick to that. I think you, they've got a very strong will. I think they need to continue that, uh, work hard. Um, I think that's it, yeah. Ah, uh, the end of 11B1. Uh, yes, I'll be very sad to see them go. Um, I can remember them on the, on the very first day uh, when I had to introduce them to the school. They were all stood around the outside with their parents, uh, very quiet. And then obviously to see them now, being able to watch them grow over the last five years into the strong-minded, confident young women that they are today. Um, it, is, it is really lovely. 11B1 were actually sat round alphabetically. Those surnames actually forged some of the strongest friendships um, that we've ever had in Prenton and obviously these friendships will, will last a lifetime. So at Christmas and, and the end of the year we'd also have a form photograph. So the form photograph would be all of the students all piled up onto the middle bench uh, like a circus act and then they'd be able to take a photo and all these photos got shared uh, at, the end, at the end of year 11 so the students have got these to be able to treasure for, you know, for the rest of their lives. Advice for future employers, that's to say, watch out. There's some seriously strong-minded women who are ready to take on the whale from that form. So yeah, I think they'll be able to go on and, and be whatever they want to be. I'm glad they've gone. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I will obviously miss them. You can't have a form for three years without missing them. Um, yeah, I will definitely, definitely miss them. My favourite memory, in year nine, waiting to go down for uh, the Christmas meal, okay, and um, we watched a bit of Frozen, and they belted out uh, the songs. I did find when I fed them, blackjacks, biscuits, the like, okay, they were a lot more manageable. This was um, a fantastic form made up with such great personalities, each one unique, but at the same time, they all came together as a form. I will miss you all, girls. I thought Lucy was an absolutely amazing head girl. She led her team so well. Amy and Jess were two fantastic members of the team who uh, took a lead on the McMillan coffee morning. And they were just always there to, um, you know, whenever they could be available, they would be. And Kira, Eva and Grace, the other members of the team, all had their own quality, 
Hero, passionate about the environment, so was Eva. And Grace was just always, always happy and smiley. So I think they'll all be remembered as individuals that work together as a wonderful SSLT team. How do I feel about our year 11s leaving us? A huge mixture of emotions, I guess. Sadness that we haven't been able to see much of them. But I think my overriding feeling is one of absolute pride. They're such an amazing group of young people. The way they just conducted themselves when they heard that the school was going to close and they thought about others before they thought about themselves. They were thinking about the, the whole year group. They were thinking about their teachers. They were thinking about the school community. I think about some of my year 11s and when that we said that we were going to, they weren't going to be able to sit their exams. My students actually said to me, Miss, we wanted to be able to show you how hard we'd worked and everything that we'd done. We wanted to make you proud. Well, year 11, proud of you every single day. Year 11, there are so many things I could say here. As a year group, you've impressed me in so many ways. You have grown during your time at Prenton and have developed your skills and your character in readiness for your next steps. You have all overcome different challenges and tried things that perhaps you would never have imagined possible. Although your time with us has been cut short, I feel confident that this will not stop you from achieving great things. You have an exciting next chapter ahead of you and I want you to take a bit of Prenton in your pocket wherever you go. Cherish the good times and the happy memories. Look after your friendships and yourself and always believe that you can make a difference. I want you to take something away with you for the future. Something to try as you take your next big steps. The next time you go into a new situation, I want you to do something for two minutes. Standing in a superhero pose can give you superpowers. Standing with your shoulders back, your feet firmly grounded, your head held high, you will feel empowered. And doing this pose just for two minutes will put you in the driving seat and in control of the situation, whatever that situation may be. So, as you leave Prenton, stand tall. Show people what you're made of. Go out there and be who you want to be, the very best version of yourself. We believe in you. You are all superheroes. Head teacher Mrs Ayling also shared her thoughts about the year group spreading their wings. She had this to say. It hardly seems possible that five years have passed since you started your journey here at Prenton and none of us could have imagined that it would end in quite the way that it has. However, I want you to take a moment to reflect upon the many successes and achievements that you've had along the way. Every single one of you have endeavoured to be the very best versions of yourselves that you can be. And now, as we look forward to the future, I want you to think about how you take everything you have achieved here at Prenton and you help that to build upon in your future. The foundations that you have laid in the last five years and before you joined us will now make sure that you are in a really strong position to continue on your many different journeys as you move into your next phase of education and training. Hold on to the fact that you are all capable of achieving amazing things. And I would only have one request of you, that you stay in touch and you share these next steps of your amazing journeys with us as you move towards what will be, I know, fantastic and very exciting futures. We wish you all the very best, all the success and all the happiness that you truly, truly deserve. So that is all we have for you this afternoon, but join us next time when Year 11 are able to safely return to celebrate their achievements. How will staff respond to being reunited with their former students and how will students feel about their next steps? Whatever happens, one thing is very clear. They will be missed by their whole school community. I will leave you all with these great words from Dr. Zeus. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. Year 11, it has been an absolute pleasure to work with you. You should be so proud of what you have achieved. We could not be prouder of you. Remember, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is Leonie Hepke 
signing off from Prentice High School, Wirral.